Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ's BRC. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, what, a kind, what kind of tool do I use? Or what tools do I use? What are the best tools to use? Which one is the better than the other one is debatable. The ones I prefer may not be the one that you might like. I have an array of tools. Uh, you just see part of my tools in front of the camera right now. Uh, I use the ones right here, MIP, I use Duratrax, Dynamite, Intigi, um, Zerons for cutters, things like that. And I do use Snap-on. I do use Mac tools. There's an array of tools that I use. But there is one set of tools I do prefer to work with a little bit more than the other ones. And are the MIPs. Uh, I just love the way they feel in your hand, they're easy to work with, and they're easy to identify which is which. MIP has a system out there about colors and solid colors or stripe colors. Now the stripe colors I don't have in front of me right now are the ball ends. Uh, basically solid colors Red is 2, uh, two mil, 2.5 is blue, black is 3 mil, white is 1.5. Now in uh, standard is 116 is uh, kind of a grayish pinkish. Uh, and you have the green, that's 564, the blue 332, and the pinkish is 0 .5. 0 .5, 0 0.5, 0 0.05 should I say. Now, the other companies like Intigi has a similar to it's the complete handle. Uh, I just found they're a little bit harder to sometimes determine the exact size. Dynamite, I have two brands of Dynamite here. The guys, these guys here again, same thing. They're written on the handle, but after a while of using it, uh, it just fades off. Now, this is not too bad. It's the Philip. Don't really care. The Philip is easy to find. The other ones I do use a lot too is these dynamites. These guys here, by a physical way to know it, it's written on the handle and you can see the 2.5 has been used once or twice, even the 2 mil. Well, you have to look on the handle or after a while, just by looking at the physical size of the tip, you know. And I do have this one from Duratrax, that's a multi-bit. That you pop behind the handle and it stays in. You want to go back in, you just push it. In the back here, you do have the extra bits. This is fun to carry around with you when you're in the field, uh, playing with your vehicles or your drones, your cars, your boat. Easy access, you don't have to haul a bunch of tools with you. And it, these are my specific cutters I do love to use. Now, back to the MIPs here. The other one I do use often is my uh, wrench. Basically, this is a 7 mil for the tires. I do have this one here. And I do have another one that is a 17 mil for my uh, 18 buggies that I don't have in front of me here. And I do have the integer tips for the uh, physical drill that I use sometimes too. Now, like I said, there's an array of tools. You could have multiple tools. I love tools. I have multiple of them, uh, different brand, different makes. Just try a set and if you feel comfy with it, just use that set and just enjoy it, have fun with it. Sometimes I have advantage, disadvantage. There are certain tips that I have for my integers that they're just longer compared to two mil to two mil. I prefer this one for certain places I'll go in the vehicle, they're harder to get to. I'll use these guys instead of my MIPs. Cutter wise, I have a set basically to cut basically anything. When I say anything, it's anything. And I have a specific set that's written wire on it. I'll cut only wire with it. I won't cut anything else. 
I do have the ones like the uh, scissor shears. Works great to cut pretty much close to anything. And I do have another set like this that I cut anything with it too. Just the way the blade is made, it's just, they're easy to work and they're just easy to grab in your hands to be able to do whatever you want to do with them. And I have assortment of basically long nose. That's sometimes will easy to put the C clips and things like that. I just wanted to make this video to basic to show you guys what kind of tools I do use. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this, uh, this video, hit that like button, please. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you.